looks like Go2, the parent company of LastPass, got itself into a bit of trouble. Recently, some cybercriminals got their hands on some encrypted backups of Go2 customers through a breach of the company's systems. They also managed to steal Go2's encryption key, which is not good news. The company has confirmed that the attack impacted several of its products including Central, Join, Me, Hamachi and Remotely Anywhere. But don't worry, they assure us they don't store any credit card or bank details, only names, email addresses, phone numbers and some billing information. So at least they're keeping the good stuff safe. They're also advising affected customers to reset their passwords and reauthorize MFA settings, just in case. The original article from TechCrunch was posted in January of 2023. Here are the details from their article. Last. Past parent company Go2, formerly LogMeIn, has confirmed that cybercriminals stole customers' encrypted backups during a recent breach of its systems. The breach was first confirmed by LastPass on November 30. At the time, LastPass Chief Executive Karim Tubba said an unauthorized party had gained access to some customers' information stored in a third-party cloud service shared by LastPass and Go2. The attackers used information stolen from an earlier breach of LastPass systems in August to further compromise the company's shared cloud data. Go2, which bought LastPass in 2015, said at the time that it was investigating the incident. Now, almost two months later, Goto said in an updated statement that the cyber attack impacted several of its products, including business communications tool Central, online meeting service Join, Me, hosted VPN service Hamachi, and its remotely anywhere remote access tool. Go! To said the intruders exfiltrated customers' encrypted backups from these services, as well as the company's encryption key for securing the data. The affected information, which varies by product, may include account usernames, salted and hashed passwords, a portion of multi-factor authentication, MFA, settings, as well as some product settings and licensing information, said Goto CEO Patty Srinivasan. In addition, while Rescue and GoToMipe encrypted databases were not exfiltrated, MFA settings of a small subset of their customers were impacted. Despite the delay, Goto provided no remediation guidance or advice for affected customers. Go! To said the company does not store customers' credit card or bank details, or collect personal information, such as date of birth, home address, or social security numbers. That's in sharp contrast to the hack affecting its subsidiary, LastPass, during which attackers stole the contents of customers' encrypted password vaults, along with customers' names, email addresses, phone numbers, and some billing information. Go! To did not say how many customers are affected. The company has 800,000 customers, including enterprises, according to Go to Public Relations Director Jen Matthews, who declined to answer our other questions. Go to spokesperson Nicolette Baxo Albaum also repeatedly declined to comment or respond to TechCrunch's questions when reached prior to publication. Srini Vasan says Go2 is contacting affected customers directly and is advising those impacted to reset passwords and reauthorize MFA settings out of an abundance of caution. For more tech and security tips, please like, follow, and subscribe.